Hey guys, this is Nod Lammers from Invoked 101, where mech knights don't quite lose to Scythelock. And today we're taking a look at my first place locals invoked mech knight deck profile. Please try and excuse the big mess behind me. Hang on, can we can we mitigate that? By zooming in on my beautiful face, we can a little bit. That's fine. Anyway, so I got first place with this deck. Um, I took it to locals. We played four rounds, and my round one was against Shadal Invoked Branded. The guy has is kind of new. Um, He's played before, but he's returning to the game, so. Uh, but we took that with a swift 2-0. Then in game two, we played against our buddy Game, Gabe. Sorry, we played against our friend Gabe, and he was playing uh, Despia Branded. Uh, he was also the only person to take us into a game three. After that, we played against our buddy Little Sheep. He was playing Earth Machines, and uh, thanks to Brick in game one, and then some good stuff game two, we were able to take that one, so. Uh, and then in round four, we played against Prank Kid Adventure. And that one was a little tight. Uh, game one was super swift. He went for Prank Kid combo. We ashed it. And we had Mech Knights plus Neos Fusion. So we were able to OTK. And then game two, slightly more back and forth, but we were able to take it once we uh, stopped bricking. We were both kind of doing a brick fest there. And then eventually we were able to kind of match up. And, uh, take that one too. So we were able to go 4-0 with Invoked Mech Knights in 2022. Anyways, let's get into this deck profile. It's sitting right here for us. Before we get started, down in the description, if you feel like supporting the channel, there's links down there to do just that. So, getting into it. Playing the spells and extra deck off to the side, we will start, of course, with the monster lineup. And it would not be Invoked Mech Knights without three Alistair the Invoker. Um, strangely enough, I did not feel that this was the strongest card going second. Um, I actually, I still do like it. I still think that this sets up a lot of really good stuff, including going first when you use the Mech Knights. Normal summon Alistair, make a link, set invocation, Mech Knight. Uh, and then you can move your your extra deck monster when you fusion summon. So, but yeah, three of this guy still super good, especially when it does resolve. Then, uh, just real quick, hand traps. I played three Ash, um, of course, just one of the best hand traps ever created. And then three Ghost Ogre. This is really good. This format, it's really good for just hitting things, getting stuff off the field, um, specifically against adventure. Um, although today it didn't really do a lot, and I actually found myself citing this out quite a bit, mainly for some stuff in the side deck that I'm going to show off. Uh, but yeah, then for the uh, Neo Fusion package, because of course this is Invoked Mech Knights and uh, kind of it's a hard to go second deck. So we were playing one Elemental Hero Neos and one Rainbow Dragon. And I got that sweet secret rare from the Speed Duel box. So that looks awesome. Finally upgraded my Rainbow Dragon. But yeah, um, you need them. They are the bricks. And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate because these are not very good bricks, but uh, you know. There was actually a game where I uh, fused away, where I had to make Mechaba, and I had Rainbow Dragon in my hand, and I had to dump it off Invocation to make Mechaba, and just remove Rainbow Neos from the equation altogether, which kind of sucked. Next is the Mech Knight package, and I'm known for playing a fairly big Mech Knight package, but I also think the Mech Knights are the best stuff in this deck. I think that they're some of the better stuff. So we're playing three purple because he is the best one, being able to banish um, any Mech Knight until the next standby, until your next standby phase and uh, get advantage off it is really good, especially whenever your opponent has stuff like Mirror Jade or uh, that uh, Super Chimera card that everyone's summoning off Branded Unread. Uh, yeah, so he's able to dodge stuff like that. Then I played two Indigo. I know some people play one. I actually did find myself siding out one Indigo, and that's kind of the reason I like playing two is because you can side out one and still be just fine. Uh, but yeah, Move Man definitely came in, especially whenever I would go purple or blue and I needed another big body to kind of hit with Rainbow Neos. This was definitely the nice uh, backup because he is the second largest Mech Knight. After that, we played two Blue Sky. I actually got to resolve blue for two against uh, Despia, which was kind of cool. Uh, it's been a while since we resolved blue for two, but um, yeah, uh, Mech Knight Blue Sky is still super good and really nice to have, especially when you can go Blue Sky, go Rainbow Neo, uh, Blue Sky, summon the other Mech Knight, Rainbow Neo, send Blue Sky, and then swing for two. It's very, very nice. And the last one I played was one Yellow Star with all the back row that's going on, a lot of continuous stuff. He kind of works as another Ghost Ogre, and he's really good to grab whenever you're just going through your plays and they have a thing and they have a piece of back row. Something like Branded Lost is what I went for with this guy specifically um, in the matchups. Other than that, he is just another name, but he is the most useful of the two whenever it comes to the quote unquote bad mech knights. It's either him or red, and typically yellow is the one that I like playing. But yeah, so. 
there we go. That is the monster lineup. Um, we there are more hand traps. We do play another one when we get to it, but uh, those are the. I think we play a grand total of nine in this deck. Moving to the spells and traps. We are playing, of course, Triple Magical Meltdown. This gets you your Alistair, stops your opponent from Solemn Striking or Solemn Judgmenting, sorry, uh, your Invocations and your other fusion effects, such as uh, Neo's Fusion. But yeah, uh, so two Invocation, I've stuck by this, especially with the way that this deck plays now and the way that I've built it. I think two Invocation, two mel three Meltdown is still good. Uh, then, of course, one Terraforming to get us to this. I actually didn't see terraforming at all, and I've con started considering like maybe siding it out or whatnot, because I'll draw a meltdown way before I see terraforming. Um, after that, I played three Neos Fusion. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this in another Invoked Mech Knight profile, but Neos Fusion works a lot like Fusion Destiny does, where you're able to do your entire combo, and then at the end of it, slap down Neos Fusion and Rainbow Neos. And that is a super important thing whenever you're talking about this card. It also has the added effect of being able to protect your Neos from shuffling itself back into the extra deck, or from uh, destruction battle or card effects so yeah there's a re so this has a really good use in this deck and it also is kind of better than fusion destiny so uh, i like neo's fusion a lot and playing three instead of one like i used to do where i could break even harder playing three and then just being able to dump them or set them is just fine uh yeah because you can ditch them off a mecha but to negate stuff or you can just set them for mech knights uh, next up, I played three Pot of Prosperity, and I know that this card is really expensive. I know because I'm about to buy it from my good buddy Gara. Um, but yeah, Pot of Prosperity. I know, I know. But I'm not gonna lie. I would not have been able to get as far as I did if I did not have this card. Um, so um, I don't know what to tell you. There's not a good extra. There's not a good alternative to this. Uh, you could play. Uh, Spellbook of Knowledge and Spellbook of Secrets, you could play that. That is probably the next best option, which I was playing, I believe, in my previous video. Um, but yeah, this card is insane and definitely helps a lot. If you have it, awesome. Definitely be playing this. If you can't get it, like I said, do try and use um, spell, Spellbook of Knowledge and Secrets. I think that would be your next best bet. Uh, but yeah, so three of those definitely helped out. Then three regeki three main deck regeki so back when we used to play mind control back when mind control was at three that was like the card to use three regeki in the main is awesome like i remember i was playing against gara last week and i opened regeki every game uh so and i was going second so it would just be pop 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 you know but yeah regeki is insane set it mech knight flip swing it's it just helps the strategy push and it's so good uh, two Crossout Designator. Um, I don't know if I would play a third one, um, but we're playing two Crossout, one uh, Called By, and I think that's fine. I think this is a fine lineup for that. Uh, Crossout definitely came up, especially against stuff like Ash Blossom against Alistair, Imperm against Alistair, and um, that was really it. There were I, I don't think there was anything else I specifically went to like Crossout, but yeah, uh, definitely uh, I like that. And then of course uh, Called By is Called By. If this card was at three, I'd be playing that instead of three Crossouts. Um, I played two Forbidden Droplet. I know this is another really expensive card. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, this didn't really come up. It came up uh, realistically once when I was uh, using when I need when I was playing under um, I believe it was Gozen, and I had to get Alistair off the field. So I normal summoned Alistair, activated Invocation, and then at, or normal summoned Alistair, activated Droplet, sent Alistair to target the card to negate the card, and then I um, added Invocation and. Because now I didn't have a card on the field, I could go into Mechaba. So uh, Forbidden Droplet worked in that scenario. That was pretty cool. But other than that, there's not a this didn't come up too much uh, more than anything else. The last spell card I play is one Harpy's Feather Duster. I main deck this because no one expects you to be main decking it. And Duster did come in handy. There was one specific moment where my opponent, who was playing Earth Machine, he had set up he had set three back row, two of which were Floodgates, and the other was an Imperm. And I went. Prosperity and I prosperity into Duster because I already had Alistair and some Mech Knights and I just dustered all three of his back row. It's so satisfying. Uh, so yeah. And then the last card I played is a trap card, three infinite impermanence. Uh, part of the reason is of this is cross out, but also because going first or going second, I guess, uh, you're going to be needing this card to just be able to stop stuff as well as your ash and your uh, ogres. So that's what that's kind of what you're relying on going uh, and then you want to open your regekis as well as well as your neos fusion
so that is it for the main deck and like I said it's I know it's an expensive main deck I know it is and I'm sorry um, but that's that's just where we're at with this deck uh, moving into the extra we played of course two Mechaba self-explanatory he's the negate of the deck uh, one Algodis, which I did go into against Adventure Prank. This did help a lot, especially when they went token. And I could have popped the token, but I, I guess I forgot. And then when they summoned the second token, I just, because uh, they opened, the, they drew into the other card, I just popped that token, and then I kept going until I got to the card I needed. Uh, one Purgatrio, I did summon this, but only for a little bit, and then I eventually linked it off to go into Vert. Um, it was mainly just so I had another body. And then, of course, one Rainbow Neos. Uh, also, real quick, I don't want to discourage, like, Purgatrio stands, because Purgatrio is, like, obviously one of the best ones. He's still really good. I just didn't, he just didn't come up in any of my matches today. It was much better to go into these two and Rainbow Neos than it was Purgatrio. But definitely, Purgatrio should not be undervalued. Um, I just want to be clear about that. Rainbow Neos, of course, was an MVP today, he, or yesterday, um, at the time of recording this. Uh, Rainbow Neos was able to... Uh, he has the ability to shuffle all the opponent's monsters back in the deck, and he's a 4500 beater that you can just special summon for free. I don't think he's too big of a problem, because like I said, he's just an OTK machine, but, um, so he's not any bigger of a problem than, like, stuff like Lieb or, um, or Utopia Double. He's kind of in that realm, uh, where it's one of those cards that your opponent, that you're just able to summon. And yeah, Rainbow Neo is definitely super cool, especially whenever you're able to uh, do the base combo, which is Mechaba plus Vert plus Rainbow Neo, Rainbow Neo, Send Vert, Shuffle Back, uh, and then you Alistair buff either Mechaba or Rainbow Neos for game. So very cool there. Definitely a really cool card. Now, because of stuff I'm playing in the side deck, I am playing one Destiny Hero uh, Destroyer Phoenix and Forder and one Mirror Jade this thing. Um, uh, the reason I'm playing this is because they're, of course, branded is really big right now, and this is, in my opinion, the problem card, because all the other stuff just fusion summons, um, and gets you, like, branded in red, which I can deal with that Chimera, uh, Magical Chimera, whatever his name is, I can deal with that, but, uh, this is a little bit more of a problem, and it also removes their boss monster from the game, uh, this is just another annoying card that I can out against, um, people who have it, there's a few guys at my locals who do have this card, and having this in my extra, I can cherries, uh, both of these away. Because uh, I am siding cherries. I, I felt like that was a good call, especially with a deck like this, where these two cards can stop you from progressing your game state. Then I play one Artemis, one Secure Gardener, and one Almirage. Now you'll recognize these as the things you link Alistair into. Uh, typically what I'll do is, if I know I'm not going to go into these, I will banish these off of Prod of Prosperity. Having them extra as just an option is also fine in case I run up against Dogmatica and I have to dump some stuff. Um, Typically, though, I can also dump fusion monsters depending on what I see, because that will set me out for Algodies. Again, this deck does not lose to Dogmatica, it does not, and apparently it does not lose to a few other things. Yeah, usually I'll banish these also across Pot of Prosperity. Then I'm playing one Dark Charmer, uh, Gloomy. Uh, I kind of want to play the Light Charmer too, because this deck has a lot more lights, and I've noticed that there's uh, some really good light targets you can special summon back, but uh, at the same time, this also got banished off of Prosperity quite a bit, and... You know, I don't know what else to say. I've used it before, but it's, you really, the only way to actually, like, link into it is with Alistair. Then I played one Nightmare Phoenix, again, another Prosperity Banish, uh, which is fine, but it's come up before. Then one Vert, uh, of course, I'm only playing the one. This is just in case I don't open Neo's Fusion, I can go into it with some Mech Knights and Alistair uh, to go into Mechaba, make Vert, and then make uh, Rainbow Neos, so that he just, it does the combo. It turns, it makes, instead of just normal summon Alistair, special summon Mech Knight, it turns that into OTK, which is very nice. Uh, then the last two monsters, of course my boy, Blackluster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, I got an ulti, he looks beautiful, I love this card, this card is awesome, and uh, yeah, I summoned this against uh, against Gabe, and he's like, oh, so you could just attack and banish stuff? And I was like, yeah, and he's like, oh, okay, and then that's when he scooped it up, so yeah, definitely a really good card, super solid, um, super easy to make with Mech Knights too. It, this is the true Mech Knight boss monster. And then the last card, which I never summoned, and I never also banished it off Prod of Prosperity, even though I never summoned it, a uh, Boral Sword. I used to summon this card a lot more, but uh, as I've progressed, I think that this might become a Prosperity's target. Uh, but typically, I was only banishing for three, so I'd banish like these two plus like Phoenix or these two plus one of these guys. But if you're going for six, I'd banish these two, these two, and then uh, these two. So those those guys right there. 
And then if you need to go for three, it really just depends on where you're at in the game. But yeah. Uh, and then I will show off side real quick. I'm not really going to explain the side because the side kind of got explained by the extra and just by me talking. Um, so going into the side deck, I played uh, three crow uh, just to get knock stuff out of the grave. Three Lancia because banishing is OP. I already mentioned this one. Three cherries. Uh, cherries is really good uh, right now, I think. Especially with everyone playing like the same stuff, and with this deck having a pretty loose extra deck and playing Prosperities, I can Cherries and then Prosperities, the target that I just showed. Uh, so that's really nice. I know I said I wasn't going to explain, and then I started explaining. I'm sorry. Uh, three Cosmics. This is just extra back row hate, because uh, I'm main decking Harpies. Just have some extra. And then three D-Barrier. This card's nuts. This card wins games on its own. It's also for in case my opponent makes me go first. Uh, I can side this in uh, if I feel like they're going to make me go first, because I'm playing Mech Knights. You side out Regeki, you put these in. Super easy. Uh, but yeah, the hand traps are just like what I swap out Ghost Ogre for. So it's typically like side these in, side, side out. So side out Regeki, side out Ogre. Put whichever D barrier and whichever hand trap I feel I need most. Um, but yeah, typically I'm siding in nine cards, which is kind of big. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought about this deck in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.